All right, so I'll tell you where you don't want to be. You don't want to be at turn 122 with 38 signs and 22 culture at this point. But it's okay. We're going to we're going to power through this. We're going to get this done. Now, I would like to settle Yeah, yeah, I'm always too close to you guys, but you're never too close to me, right? I mean, you could always ask them for a promise not to do that, but typically they'll deny it. I'm trying to find new land. This city is starting to flip. So I'm gonna have to put, I love you so much. Two cities and I pissed off two women, look at that. Isn't that something? What that means is we can't settle anywhere else. I mean, I can't settle anywhere here anyway. Paul is doing fine. Do a lot better one. Oh no, I can get this one. And we got another great Admiral, Leif Erikson, and now we have Niter. Still have iron though. Leif Erikson. Sight range. Uh, that's not bad. I think I want to kind of keep you medieval. I don't have a medieval. Did I? I don't even have crossbowmen. All right, no problem. Uh, cartography. I will keep Leaf here and dormant. Let's get. Let's get. I do have a lumber mill here. That's a small continent that we're on. And we got full loyalty at Newcastle upon Tyne. Now, if you want to, you can always get rid of some of these city states. Like, I can get rid of Fez. I don't have iron. Or I could suzerain Fez. Recruit a great right. I'm going to have to start getting some. Plymouth is going to be more about. Putting together a, a military. I'm gonna stick my tongue down your booth. And we're getting horses there and everything like that, but we're gonna put together some kind of military over here. All right, keep going. Oh wait, you, that's as far as you can go. I haven't gotten cartography. Yet. Okay, so the monument is good. Monuments give you a little bit of. A little bit of culture. Okay, let's start building some ships. Let me get another galley out. Let me get, let's get a quadrireme out there. And Plymouth has the walls. I am gonna buy a trader next, but as of this point, I, w I mean, where's your best aqueduct? I actually, um, Dockyard. Get some more incense. Because as they always used to say, incense is best. <laughs> and I'm going to have to look. As I've mentioned before, I'm going to have London just print out settlers. And... Sure, I'll give you a diplomatic favor, my darling. Actually, I want... Somebody's got to get some... We're going to get some theater squares up here. I, I think that once Birmingham is done with this... Oh, somebody's spying on me. That's how far behind I am. They have spies and I don't have a spy to counter spy. I need a diplomatic order somewhere. Invincibility. Okay, I'm gonna do that with the maritime. I'm. Uh, I don't really need the corvée right now. We need this. What this grant you? What I just put in there? That card? It grants you more science per turn based on how many 
campuses you have. We're gonna go with Monarchy, I think. Do I want to get more Merchant? No, actually Merchant Republic is best. So just be aligned to that. Okay, I do want... I do want Pingala. And I want Pingala in... No, I want Pingala in Sheffield. And the reason is we're going to get some more science per turn. Pingala is all about science and culture, and we're going to need some more of that. I took out Corvée, which gives you more production towards Great Wonders because this one's about to be finished, so there's no point in having it anymore. Newcastle upon Tyne is getting a granary because Newcastle upon Tyne is in a desert and doesn't have any actual food tiles. It's what you ladies did to me. In fact, Wilhelmina does not have walls. When you see, you always want to look at the top blue bar is your wall meter and the bottom bar there is your health meter. When you look at the overall defenses though, that means that let's say you have a warrior which does 20 melee damage, I would barely be able to scratch that. And in tenable sieve, I still pour it. There we go, we got our first great wonder. Or is it our first? No, it's our second. We have the Indian line, religious in mine era. Now the great baths, that gives us more more population growth and everything. So I think at this point, I really believe it's time for me to, I th if I do an industrial zone, yeah, I think it is time for me to just get a theater square out. Now, there are certain different... Why would you do that? The reason why this is a plus four in culture is because of the Great Bath and because it's right by the... And I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. Let's get a builder out. <laughs> Did I go with, no I didn't. Right. Sheffield's market is done. We have more capacity towards traders. So let's get another trader out. Number mill, plantation. Now with theater squares, you can get great works. You can recruit great people in the art industry and everything. What you also get is you get culture per turn. And if you put an entertainment district right here or an entertainment square, you'll get more amenities. We're actually pretty happy. So I don't think we really have to worry about it. You want your nighter, huh? It's not like I'm using it for anything. My units suck. I still have more. No, I don't. I'm making that up. But this is the whole map here. I mean, Eleanor has more military strength. Oh, Theodore is not happy with me. We're not friends anymore. I'd imagine the whole. Theodore might be plotting to attack me. Nice. Organisms don't think of Great Barrier Reef, another natural wonder. Coral. Think of it as a building. As you can see, it gives you food and science. Industrialize that. Somebody's working on this, right? Yeah. I could upgrade you. Get these crossbowmen. It gives us a boost to to metal working or metal crafting. Now, the thing that you have to remember about the computer is that the computer isn't a very intelligent strategist. A lot of times what they'll do is, that's a plus eight campus. Why am I not getting any science protection? 
a lot of times what they'll do is they'll just kind of like meander a lot and then and you know do nothing and then every now and then they'll attack you with what they have typically if you're being attacked by one city another city will come and get you now Theod oh she doesn't like me at all anymore all right it's fun while it lasted she is planning to betray me they're planning to betray me. Yeah, I have no iron at all anywhere still. Okay. I could ch Oh, I need to, oh, I need your lumber mill. All right, we have 10 population finally. I could make that a lumber mill. You can shop rainforests and make them into farms or lumber mills. When you do, you get a boost to production. A Bristol is going to keep getting us ships. Because as we evolve scientifically, we're going to make them into frigates and caravels. Gotta send you guys back. Can I go that way? Okay, well, Ramesses doesn't despise me anymore. When you grant a promise or somebody grants you a promise, it takes 30 turns for that to expire. You'll get a message saying your promise has been fulfilled. So we, were, we said that we weren't going to... Yeah, we'll mine it. Oh, that's a 1-4. It's a hill? Is this a... These are plain. No, those are hills. Right. These are fishing boats, right? What's London's production? Now oh, I want to go the other way. Now, it doesn't matter how far you are from your main... Your home city. If there's nobody nearby, you can still maintain loyalty. And even if you're close and loyalty seems to be flipping, you can still... Get it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'm winning diplomatically, aren't I? Oh, he's at war with somebody. Sooner or later, sooner or later, I'm going to have to start taking these cities or some, somebody's cities. Now, if he's my friend, and he is, okay, so now he's friendly. We also want to unlock alliances or have the computer unlock alliances. Alliances grant you boons. And at that point, if you're an ally with somebody, you can't spy on them. So I'm just looking for more land to settle on. Okay, so the trader is fine. Sheffield needs some ancient walls. Sheffield needs some place to rest. Let's get ancient walls up because Theodore is right there and I don't trust her now. Bristol has a quadrireme. You are good. You are good with population for now. What's your best wonder? The Colossus. The mausoleum is okay. It's just it's going to take you forever to make it. So let's go with another quadrireme. If you look, it tells you how much gold they are worth maintaining. Send this to Nalanda is really good. Yeah, I'm going to go to Nalanda, you know why? Because I, I, I don't want Theodore to have roads. Whenever you send a tray route, it builds a road. All right, Ramses. Now we're friends. Okay, there we go. All right, so Ramses is good. Nobody has alliances. It doesn't matter if you don't have alliances, if the opposition does. I don't have... I could keep mining. These are all hills. Hills can only become mines. They can't become farms. Hmm, what am I gonna do with you? Hills. Never got those. Let's get fishing boats for Bristol. All right. I can just chill for now. Gotta turn you into a frigate. Once the frigates come and the caravels will be a lot better off. 
As I was saying, the computer is not very intelligent in terms of its military might. It'll come after you with a lot, and then it'll just kind of leave cities that they can easily take for reasons that make no sense. Oh, there are fishing boats there. Ooh. I gotta buy another trade route. You kind of want to keep your trade routes where... Well, for her, I would want to kind of keep them around here. Huh. Hindu Byzantium. Makes sense. Faze, you're going to have to give up that settler. It's just going to have to happen. Who's got Fez? Birmingham's workshop is done. Now they have a boost to industrialization. You are doing okay. I do want... Okay, what would be... Oh, I'm just going to buy that. What would be your better bet? Whole, uh, campus? Plus two. How much time do I have? Three turns? All right, so instead of doing that, let's build a monument. Got some places here, but she's pretty much everywhere there. I mean, he's kind of everywhere here, too. The Netherlands. Oh, you ladies are fighting again. If they do. I don't have a, a ground military. I have a, a naval fleet, kind of, or the beginnings of a naval fleet. But I need some more troops. If they do ask, we could get involved in a war. Do I have... I don't even have a... Okay, I really... No, wait, didn't I pick the Owls of Minerva, right? I picked Owls of Minerva? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get our Gilded Vault soon. Gilded Vault replaces the bank. What it does is it gives you, as I mentioned before, more gold and culture. So we're going to have to start looking at culture for a bit. Not for a victory. This is most likely going to be diplomatic. Or uh, France is already putting up Renaissance walls. Or we're going to have to somehow come up with a, a plan to dominate and win that way. <laughs> Strategy. Okay, so we have that. Nice error score boost because we got a plus four. Theater Square. Mm. Get those fishes for Bristol. Because sea tiles with our Pantheon grant us more production. Or production in general, typically they wouldn't. Oh, I gotta turn you into a correspondent. And I have to get another trade route. Or trader. I have the routes, I don't have the trader. The cries of the poor. No, give me great people. Not just admirals, damn it. How many cities do I have? One, two, three. That's four there. One, two, three, seven. Okay, we gotta get more than that. We gotta get at least 15. Gonna break your fucking nicking. But as I was saying, even if you see a city that has no walls, but they have 50. Ooh. They have 50 defensive strength or whatever. What that means is your 20 strength units are not gonna do any damage to them. You have to upgrade, you have to evolve. Got a decent, I mean, spreading for the sake of spreading is not 100% in terms of its ideal defense. You kind of want good cities, you want productive cities. You want cities that can build you things fast. Hello, my darling. When they say shit like that, it's it's so condescending. It's like, hey, you're not doing jack. <laughs> Don't I have the Great Lighthouse? I think I have it in London, right? That's why I got, see like right here, he's got knights. So what that means is that knights are about 45 melee strength. You need something that has more melee strength to do more damage and can take a hit. Now, 
We need pikemen, which we just unlocked, which is fine. And we'll be able to take knights, but once they start getting the Corsairs and stuff like that, now you're talking 70 strength. That's a problem. Okay, feudalism's been unlocked. Um, that, uh, that's fine, that's fine. Don't need that right now. Let's try to get, I need, a, I need a, to be suzerain or somebody. All right, Birmingham's monument is set. Is that all? F that is available. All right, so let's get another campus out here. Gotta wait for your quadrium to move. I keep forgetting to buy a friggin' builder. I mean a trader. I keep forgetting to upgrade my crossbowman. I do have a commercial hub and a market. That's right. Sheffield, I believe will kind of work the the ground troops here. I'm making so much gold per turn. We can maintain a decent army. We're not going religious, obviously, because we don't have a religion. But Teodora, if she's going to be this angry towards me, I could. Somebody's building Oxford. Wilhelmine is building Oxford. All right, let's, let's remember what we're doing. All right, so your ancient walls are set. You do need a granary. Let's get you an aqueduct. Uh, okay, you got tiles like that. You don't need this one. Build an aqueduct and I'll get a nice Industrial zone there. Quadrium is set. Let's get another future galley. Okay, let's spend money in a couple of places. London. I need another trader. I'll just let them build that trader. And you. Okay, metal casting is set. Yeah, just chill for now. You have a Royal Naval Dockyard. I'm gonna buy the lighthouse. What I want this, this city to start doing is start getting me some ground troops. So. I'm gonna go with the man at arms. It's gonna take a while. All right, your granary is set. You do need an aqueduct. Hmm. If I build an aqueduct here, this is a mine. Yep, that works for me. When it comes to... And look at that, we're up to 50 science per turn already. When it comes to... Industrial zones, you actually could get some, some fishing boats there. When it comes to industrial zones, what you want to do is you want to build them near mines and next to aqueducts and dams. As I've said, it's retroactive. So what I mean is that you can build an aqueduct after you build an industrial zone and the industrial zone will still get the, the bonus in production. The cries of the poor. Now let's buy Plymouth's Lighthouse. What did I what did I meet? Mogadish. The most Italian sounding non-Italian city. I again don't trust her. La Rochelle is pretty good. How are we doing with diplomacy? We are tied for first. Oh I forgot to buy your lighthouse. I do stuff with this. Plymouth's got a lot of money. See, like, this is why I would see Plymouth as sort of a military juggernaut. I do want to buy this deer tile, though. That is a sick tile. I lost my religion in Plymouth. No! <laughs> All right, once Bristol is done with this 
this galley, we're gonna put an industrial zone on this mine, right by the aqueduct. Shade. An architect. Buttresses, we have dams available now. So, London. Mm. Back to building settlers. Where I'm gonna put them? Do not know, but we're gonna figure it out. Oh, I can't build industrials, I don't have enough room. We gotta get you eating more. Well, I have been eating more. I'm gonna hard build a granary for now. Plymouth, get me your lighthouse. Okay, here's more housing. I could send you out as well. We still have open borders with my beloved. Get you healed up. Doesn't like me, but... Uh, I've got a lot of niter. Anybody want niter? Hey, Mr. Poundmaker. You're typically cool. You want some... No, that's, that's not really what I want. You want some niter? I'll get that from the home. I'll give you niter and open borders. 15 gold per turn, I love it. Let's get rich, man. Let's get fat and rich. Get a trader next. Yeah, as I was saying, the reason why Plymouth looks to me like this really serious indu industrial military type city is because look at all this production. You got woods here, I can make that into a five. Nope, oh, Egypt already beat us culturally. That's what happens when you take your time. Well, I wasn't taking my time. I was just not given really adequate spots. Hull is gonna get this. That are very honest. All right, affairs. That's fine. Settlers, production, campus, but keep that. Uh, gold per envoy is not bad. Actually, I could just buy it. Let me let me get a. Um, let me try to get a scientist of some kind, so I can just buy all the all that stuff. Let's get those gilded vaults unlocked. Another trader from London. How's that military might doing? Heal up. And right now the strongest is, wow, she has zero military might. I can totally kick her ass. Ours is 235, it's respectable. Theodora's behind, so she's gotta behave for a while. I gotta buy that tile. It's a very weird looking continent. Let me have you chill for a bit. Okay, anybody? I'm getting all the science trades, not just gold science too. Let's buy that tile before he gets it. He's a serious tile. You can do so, you can make gold off that.
I think I have more cities. One, two, three. I mean, I might have more cities, but they're just not going to produce as, as well as their cities are going to produce. She still hasn't done anything with these horses. Listen, Eleanor. Hull is complaining about amenities. Uh, volcano, a gentle eruption. You don't want mega colossal eruptions, they're pretty nasty. Okay, knights have been unlocked. So now, Hull, I need you to get some ancient walls, please. Oh, Churchan is starting to, starting to fade here. Look at that. Rebellion in 3,000 turns. Okay, so anyway. Where we are now is not ideal, not by any stretch of the imagination. We're going to have to do a lot of work. We're going to have to build a massive army. We're going to have to start taking some cities. Most likely, I'm going to go over here and take Marseille, which I could probably keep, and Amboise. We already have lost culturally. That's something that we cannot make up. Let's see what we got. He's at 36. We are at 25. All right, so we're 11 behind him. We're a lot of signs per turn behind as well. But we can make that up. That's not a problem. But diplomacy, we are leading. I've just got to start getting some some more culture so we can start getting, unlocking some more great works or great wonders. But as of now, this is where we are. We're going to keep building. And we're going to keep pushing. We're going to put some pressure on people. We're going to try to find some... Some shoreline cities on the opposition, and we're going to start using our massive naval might to take those cities as well. So, be back with more tomorrow.